everybody. Welcome back to Clutch Situation. I am super excited today because I have a patron who joined a couple months ago uh, named Matt S. And he joined at the $5 level. And as a result of that, he got to contribute his patron funds towards a, a review of his choice. And I knew that this was only a matter of time before this happened. And I kind of respect the heck out of somebody who's going to request the paper made clear point in any version for review on the channel. Now, I want to be serious here for a second and let everybody in the audience know that I am going to do my best to try to review the Clearpoint Elite fairly. This is one of the most requested pencils on the channel. It's not like this is like out of the blue, blue or that people don't want to see this. There are legitimately people in the audience who want to see me reviewing the Papermate Clearpoint Elite. And it isn't that I haven't been interested in reviewing the Papermate Clearpoint Elite. I have been. Honestly, what I've been doing is I've been trying to wait for the price to fall. Uh, this pencil has been out on the market for years and years and years, but they're always sold in two packs and they're always sold at around the eight to nine dollar price point. And, you know, when I'm out and about, I try to see if there are sales or anything like that, but I've never seen a paper mate clear point elite on sale and it could just be bad timing or something like that. So it's not like I haven't been interested in checking this out and reviewing it uh, but shout out to Matt S for finally doing what was needed in order to get this to be a guaranteed review out here in the channel and as you can see I'm going to be reviewing the Papermate Clearpoint Elite in a green and purple blister pack that is being sold in stores right now and I've seen these at Target uh, I think that I purchased this on Amazon uh, but uh, it's a readily available, currently produced blister pack of the Papermate Clearpoint Elite. This is a starter set, so that you can see it comes with six extra LEDs, and it'll be interesting for us to see how many LEDs are in the chamber, because folks, you're going to see me opening this pencil and playing around with it on camera. I didn't do any prep whatsoever for this, this video, because for Matt, I wanted to be this as fresh as possible. Now, also Matt... I can't guarantee you that I'm going to like it either, okay? Like I said, I'm going to try to be as fair as I, I possibly can be, but but my gut instinct is, is telling me that I'm not going to be crazy about it, but I'm prepared for you to prove me wrong. And so let's just see what happens, okay? So let's bust it out. By the way, you can see that I'm doing some scratch art here. I haven't featured like art or pop culture stuff on the channel in a really, really long time. So I just thought I'd throw it in the frame there for anybody who is interested. And so here we are, we're busting open the paper make clear point delete blister pack. It also comes with two additional erasers. Let's sort of do an eraser compound test. You know, honestly, it doesn't feel too bad as compound erasers go. I, I probably need to spend some time erasing with it before I um, make a final judgment on it. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I would expect this to be the exact same eraser that comes with uh, just regular paper make clear points. I don't really expect that they would go up a manufacturing quality point on that. There's this little thing in here, I guess, that hmm, interesting. Uh, and then we have some extra LEDs. Generally, Papermate LEDs aren't anything to write home about, but we'll see what happens when, when we see this. And then here we go. The two pencils that came in this set, Papermate Clearpoint Elite. You know, one of the things that I wanted to do here is I'm going to try to do a teardown. And if I end up breaking one by doing a teardown, that's, I guess, what I'll do. You know, um, so Clearpoint Elites, I think this is true for, for all paper mate pencils that have similar construction is that you can mix and match these tops and so if you wanted to go out with you know purple with a green top you could totally do that so as a customization element i think that that's pretty cool that they do that um especially since you know these pencils are marketed towards school people okay uh students uh and so you know i i don't begrudge them marketing that that you know will tend to go towards things like customization and they all have twist up erasers just like all the the cheap pentel pencils have as well but you know that'll be another interesting thing for us to investigate here to what extent is the paper make clear point elite maybe better than my impressions of a lot of the pentel mechanical uh pencils that are in the economy range so let's go ahead and unscrew this and see what we got underneath the hood Okay, that that's that's interesting right off the bat. Okay, this 
component right here seems to all be fused together. And you can see that there were two LEDs in the chamber, which is honestly more than I thought there would be. I thought that there would maybe be zero LEDs in the chamber. That's something that tends to happen. I'm not feeling any unscrew points here at all. I, I don't think that this comes apart. And you know what that means? That, that basically means that we are unable to determine whether or not this has a plastic clutch. You know what? I think that I might be able to to take this out, let me see if I can find a pencil here that I'm not going to ruin the lead sleeve here. We'll, we'll, we'll rock my 0.9 millimeter Stettler to see if I can move this little piece here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it to see if I can take this apart. Mm, yeah, it's not, it's not really happening, folks. I probably have to, I expect that I'd have to like get a pliers in there in order to be able to take it apart. So, you know, maybe as an update video later on, I'll, I'll see what happens if I'm able to like somehow take this apart. I'm assuming that there is a plastic clutch in here. Okay. Um, at this price point at two pencils for $9, you know, I, I suppose it's possible that there's a metal clutch in there. You know, if we listen to it, we might be able to determine an aspect of that. Let's just listen for a second. And I'll try to get it in focus up here. Yeah, it feels squidgy, uh, which would, you know, tend to indicate to me that it's probably a plastic clutch. Metal clutches, even without viewing them, tend to have a distinct ka -chunk. And this is more of a... Okay, if I'm, you know, to be as scientific as possible in describing it. Now, you'll notice that when you click, you get an extendable conical lead sleeve. Okay, and the action on the extension is actually pretty good. Let's actually maybe do like a, a lead test here, a lead extension test. You know, so our standard is we'll do 10 clicks and we'll see how many clicks that we get. You know, like a, a really good brass pentel clutch will be um, somewhere around five to six clicks, somewhere around there for one uh or I'm sorry, five to six millimeters for 10 clicks. And so let's see what happens here. So we have one, that's sort of the extension of the lead sleeve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Not bad. I would call that maybe a little bit less than a centimeter. I've seen worse. I feel like it's a little bit tighter than many economy mechanical pencils. And so if we're thinking about this as sort of like an upgrade to the clear point elite, uh, the, the standard clear point, I feel like it's definitely an upgrade. I mean, obviously we have a huge upgrade here in the pocket clip, really strong pocket clip here, which is really nice to see. All the other components are likely plastic. We have a rubberized grip here. Okay, let's go ahead and um, check out the green one as well because part of the reason why I was pleased when I went uh, when I went looking for this after Matt requested it is that I'm like okay if I'm gonna get clear point elites I'm gonna get them in colors that I like so um, here we go do we have yep we have lead cushioning okay so that's a nice feature so there's our lead cushioning if you press down the lead does move it doesn't move uh, it only moves just a little bit. It wouldn't be perfect. So if I apply a lot of pressure here, it's going to snap. Okay. But there is some lead cushioning there. So that's, that's another positive, I would say. So this is the Papermate clear point. Ooh, are we getting a sliding sleeve here as well? Looks like we might. Papermate clear point elite. Okay, and so I'm just going to keep writing here by filling out the rest of the rating scale. I My gut instinct is telling me that we probably have a sliding sleeve here, which is a nice additional feature. We want quality. We want features. We want cost. And folks, I think that it's definitely a sliding sleeve. Okay, because I'm continuing to write with this and I'm not having to knock at all. And so let's go ahead and get out of space here for the pros and the cons. Okay. So pros. Wow, the list just, you know, goes on and on. I'm going to do pros and cons first before we get to the rating here. And so pros. We have strong pocket clip. I just want to remind everybody that these are my pros and cons. They may not be your pros and cons. And so just keep that in mind. So we have a strong pocket clip. We have a sliding retractable sleeve. I'm gonna to get to the grip here in a second because just quick preview, 
It's not my cup of tea. I also really do not like the placement of the knock. Okay. One of the things that I love about the quicker clicker, mark that down as me saying quicker clicker in a video. The one thing I like about the clicker quick, see, I can't, I can't even say it. <laughs> one thing that I like about the quicker clicker is that I can knock it with my thumb. That's something that I've noticed about myself and writing with a quicker clicker is that what really increases the speed on it is that I get a thumb knock. I can't get a thumb knock easily on this one. So I don't really like the placement of the button. I am going to say that, um, and I know that this is going to sound sardonic, but it has okay action. Okay. With, with the lead advance, um, probably a plastic clutch. Okay, is a downside for me. Oh, extendable eraser. We should probably list under the pros, but then that brings us to our next thing here, and I'm just going to draw a little bit. Let's do some erasing. Okay, here's something that I really appreciate with this that is not the case of a lot of economy pencils. There's not a lot of wobble in the eraser dock. You know, honestly, the eraser isn't bad. Okay, we're gonna say we're gonna say good compound on the eraser. I mean, not the, not even close to the best. Okay. Whoops. I'm just going to throw it. Uh, but you know, it's, it's definitely not bad. Now I'm using up quite a bit of it, but you know, that's why you have an extendable one. You get extras. So, you know, there's some things to like here, I think for sure. Um, other cons let's see. Oh, I forgot under the pros, we have lead cushioning, you know, so we're, we're just feature rich. Okay. Probably a plastic clutch. Okay. Oops, a little bit of lead breakage there. We have generally plastic construction. Okay, we have, okay, I'm I'm not a fan of the grip. Okay, for me, and this is just for me, the grip flaring, I don't know how to describe this. For me, it's flaring at the wrong point, okay? I tend to grip a pencil a little bit lower on, and so this portion right here is really thick for my taste. Remember that I prefer thinner grips. Everybody's going to be different. If you like thicker grips or if you... Yeah, if you like thicker grips... Depending upon where you grip this pencil, that's not gonna, that's gonna be a thing that is gonna be a factor for you. Um, the placement of the knock is not my favorite place, although the knock's better than I thought it was gonna be. You know, so let's just go ahead and run down the rating scale and, and see what happens here. So writing experience, once again, this is for me personally, and since the knock's not in the right place, since I don't like the flaring of the grip, I mean, the compound of the grip feels nice, okay? And you can see that it sort of has this textured ribbing here that will, you know, allow maybe for, for you to grip it if you have sweaty hands, so that's something to consider. Um, for me, I'm going to go with OK Plus on this. If that sounds harsh, I'm sorry, but it's got two knocks on it with the, haha, <laughs> pun intended, it, it, with the placement of the knock button and the flaring, that's two negatives for me. Positive, I don't mind the feel of the rubber on the grip. So for me, that's going to shake out to about an okay plus. Okay. Uh, quality, I think it's probably a smidge above most economy mechanical pencils. I mean, I think that you could feel pretty confident with purchasing this pencil over many other economy pencils that are available at stores. Definitely better than a vanilla Bic. Okay. Most things are definitely better than a paper made sharp writer. Okay. Definitely better than some of the low end economy range for Pentel. Certainly better than the normal clear point, which is fragile and easily broken. I just want to point out to you though, that if you sit on this, it's toast. Okay, this is this pencil is gonna smash if you sit on it. So you keep that in mind. Um, features, gosh, I mean, other than the clutch, how can I not rate it great? You know, I I, I kind of think that I have to. Uh, cost, we are in the economy range, but you know what? Just for fun, let's call it economy plus. Ooh, economy plus. Okay, so we're in the nine USD range. And it's available everywhere, you know? So if you get them in multiple colors, you can mix, mix and match. Oh, so I should probably add that to the pros. 
I, I, I didn't mean to be mean here, but I guess I kind of, you know, shortchanged the pro length of the section here. Another pro would be, you know, customization of colors that you could switch out the eraser dock up here with another one of them and you could go in with purple and green or green and purple or you know get some other colors and mix and match whatever your favorite colors are and so uh yeah there it is papermate clear point elite matt thank you so much for suggesting this uh i think that uh, it, it takes uh a lot of uh courage i know you're new to the channel um, go back and check out some of my old videos because I haven't, I, I'm not a fan of Papermate products at all, but the fact that you suggested that, I appreciate that you're pushing me to try some things out and I respect the heck out of that. And so thank you. I appreciate that, sir. Um, I just want everybody in the audience to, to know at this stage that, uh, you may not see me for a while. Okay. I'm shooting this in early August, 2020. We are getting ready to go back to school. Uh, my school, a uh, high school, has a 25% plan that we're going to be going in with 25% of the kids there on any given uh, day. Um, oh, it's going to be the most challenging teaching year of our careers. And that means that, uh, you know, I'm, it's, I'm going to have to do recreational things to keep myself sane. But in terms of producing videos, I just can't guarantee you that I'm going to be able to produce videos with any regularity. I mean, normally on the channel, my stuff tends to trail off in September and October. And then I ramp up again in November and December when there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I can't tell you what this year is going to look like. So if I disappear for a while, it doesn't mean that I'm gone forever. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. You know, in the interim, if you want to help me out, okay, given that I'm going back to teaching, uh, you could, you know, become a patron. You can like and subscribe. I normally don't ask for those things on the channel because I don't feel good about, like, the fake nature of YouTubers asking for likes and subscribes. But honestly, it would really do me a big favor if you do those things, you know, um, in the interim, if you like what I do on the channel and want to support me. And so uh, stay safe, everybody. Have a great day.